The sun, the sea, the tang of citrus wafting in on a Mediterranean Sirocco. Ooh, mother, make me a pack lunch. I'm off to Spain. Hola, mi amigos, and welcome to a little corner of Spain, right here on the Costa del East London. Elche in High Road, Leytonstone, is owned by Frank Manaville, who was born right on the French-Spanish border. Frank, I look at all these dishes here. They look absolutely glorious. I mean, really wonderful. But why is there so many dishes? Well, they're tapas. Tapas and tapas can represent many parts of Spain. Because it's so many regions, we try to represent a little bit every region. There you've got the ham, for example, from Extremadura, with a, a mountainous part where the, uh, the pig live in the wild. You've got the sardinas, who come from the Cantabria. You've got the escalivada, escalivada from Catalonia. <laughs> the, <laughs> it's, the... it's, so, it's so much. I mean. Is Spain so vast and so wide? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Many, many parts of Spain and all, all different parts. You've got the part with by the sea, you've got the part with in the mountain. And so, obviously, different kind of food. But what is tapas? What does tapas actually mean? Well, tapas mean lead. And uh, many years ago, in, uh, in the south of Spain, when you used to go to a bodega and get a glass of fino, uh, the, the bar owner would put a little slice of chorizo on your glass. And so there was a lid. So tapas means lid, like the, right. the, the lid of a jam jar. That's right. The restaurant takes the name Elche from a town in southern Spain, famous for its palm trees and subtly coloured archaeological pottery. But like all Spain, it's the people that make the country come alive. And what about that famous traditional dish that's synonymous with Spain? Paella. What is paella? Paella is rice with anything. You can put anything. It depends with the different parts of Spain. You can put anything. You know. Chicken. Our chef, Coba, is from Santander in northern Spain, and their recipe for paella starts with chicken. Put some chicken in. It's nice and hot to make it sell. And next, fully coat genuine Spanish rice with the hot oil. I'll give you the full recipe in a minute, but meanwhile, how about a bit of flamenco? It's in the blood of the people. They are, they are lively and they are enthusiastic and they are passionate in, in their conversation, in, in the way they live. And uh, the passion comes through the dance. I mean, it's, it's obviously originated with the flamenco, and flamenco started in the south of Spain and was taken by the gypsy as well. And that has gone all, all through Spain now and, and I think all through the world. Frank, the paella. Seeing it cooked, I think I'm ready for a taste now. Okay. If P is for passion as well as paella, it's also for perfect. Oh, nice. that is beautiful. And now oh. for the recipe for a perfectly passionate, pleasurable paella. Cut the chicken portions into four pieces and lightly fry for approximately one minute. Stir in the rice until fully coated with oil and then add the chopped tomatoes, peppers, onion and garlic. Pour in the stock made by adding stock cubes of fish and chicken and a pinch of saffron to a pint of water. Bring to the boil and turn down to a simmer. At this point, add whatever ingredients you desire, like prawns or mussels or peas. Cover the pan with a lid of silver foil and place in a medium oven for 25 minutes. May the sun of Spain always shine over Leighton Stone High Road. Salud. Say good away, Mauricio. Cuando calienta el sol, ahí en la playa.